Today I'll be giving you guys a tutorial on Swift Splash V2. The first thing you want to do after logging in is clicking the wallet icon at the bottom middle and that navigates you to this profiles page. So I already created this profile over here, but you want to fill this out with of course your real information and then click save on the bottom right. Now after you do that, you want to create a task. So I go to go to the home icon, I click plus. I click the profile I just made and I click whichever site I want to run on. So let's say I want to run on Yeezy Supply. Now it asks for a URL. So to get this URL, typically there would be a product here. I'd go here and I'd copy and then I'd go here and paste it. But just for now, I'm going to put in a random SKU and create anywhere from one to five tasks. Now it limits you from one to five because if you have more than five, then you have a much higher chance of getting IP banned, which means that you basically won't be able to access the page for a specific amount of time. So I'm just gonna create four right here. And here we have four different tabs open. Now, of course, it's gonna say the page cannot be found because I put in a random SKU, but when you actually run it, you'll have your splash page and you'll just be waiting here. Now let's look at the icons at the bottom of this tasks page. So starting from the left, we have this left facing arrow. So that's of course going back and this right facing arrow is going forward. Basically what that does is the same thing as any search engine. Then there's a refresh icon, which refreshes. Then we have this Google icon that is basically a Google login. So if you log in here, then you have a higher chance of passing the splash page. And then we have this edit task pencil. Now we could change our profile. We could change the website we're running on. We could change the URL and then we click update task and it updates to whatever you set it as. And then we have a trash can, which is of course delete. And we have this autofill icon all the way to the right. And that you can use once you've passed splash and it asks you to fill in your information, you can just click that green autofill icon and your information gets pasted in. This paperclip on the top right is a mass link change icon. So basically you go in and you could change the website for every single one of your tasks. So I'm just gonna make this Adidas. And boom, all three of the existing tasks go to Adidas. And finally, we have the settings tab. And here you can access the webhook, guides, support, discord, Twitter, and notification toggles. So basically the webhook sends notifications once you pass splash to your discord and you could search up how to make a webhook. It's pretty simple. And send notifications, of course, um, it sends you a notification when you pass splash so you don't have to pay attention to your phone the entire time. Discord gives you a free invite to their free discord server for swift soul and swift splash and it's actually an extremely good server they have a lot of good support people and i've learned a lot from them and they have twitter which of course sends a user to their twitter page